Hi friends, I am Dr. Pratap Singh Rathod. I have done MD in Forest Medicine. And today we will continue with Reason Injuries. Today's video we will discuss about injuries to the abdomen. Abdominal organs are vulnerable to variety of injuries, mainly the blunt trauma because of lax and compressible abdomen walls. Many of the times, whenever there is assault, most of the times blunt injuries occur in the abdominal organs. Injuries of abdomen can be divided into non penetrating and penetrating, where non penetrating are closed is where peritoneum is intact. When peritoneum is intact, it is non penetrating It is caused by blunt force, sinning falls, traffic accidents, absorbed by blunt weapons. Anywhere in that, the, when peritoneum is intact, it is called non penetrating non penetrating Penetrating or open injuries, when peritoneum is ruptured, like by knife or firearms, this is usually prone for infections, which may lead to peritonitis or sepsis, and person may die because of that. Profuse subcutaneous or deep seated bleeding of abdomen may sometimes diffuse along the abdominal walls or blood may track along the inguinal canal and may appear in the scrotomal labia. So any of the one may be there. Sometimes if there is a blunt trauma in the abdomen, the blood may get diffused evenly throughout the abdominal wall or sometimes the blood may trickle along the inguinal canal and may appear in the scrotomal labia as shifting contusions. In a lot of frequency, structures most likely to be damaged in blunt abdominal trauma are spleen, liver, kidneys, intestine, abdominal wall, mesentery, pancreas, and diaphragm. Injury to the coming to injury to the intestines. Injury to stomach and intestine may be caused by compression or crushing force, which produces contusion and lacerations. So, in kind of, mainly the compression force are caused by blunt injuries, like by fist or kicks or like any blunt weapons like hammer may be used so it may, or may lead to contusion and lacerations. There may be traction or tearing forces or there may be disruption or bursting forces or any of the three reasons intestines may be injured. Small intestine is more commonly injured by forces of compression than the uh, stomach and large intestine since small intestine has is larger compared to stomach and larger intestine. The proximal genum is the commonest site of rupture followed by ileum, duodenum, cecum and large intestine. Transverse colon is usually involved in case of large intestinal ruptures. So commonest part of large intestine which rupture is the transverse colon. The small bowel is most common intra-abdominal organ involved in penetrating traumas caused by like stab or gunshot wounds followed by colorectal injury and duodenum and gastric perforation. So, Commonest is the small bowel which get injured by petating injuries. So intestinal wound may be situated at some distance from the external wound since due to compression and mobility of intestines. So whenever there is assault or injury to the abdomen, since the, the intestines are in mobility, so any injury which is present may injury cause near the point of intact. The in injury may not be present at the point of intact because of the mobility of intestines. And also, whenever if there is any depth injuries is present, since the intestine moves, there may be depth will be greater than the length of the patterning object. Coming to injury to the spleen, so spleen is the most common organ to be injured in the blunt abdominal trauma. So spleen is a very fragile and very easily ruptured organ. Penetrating wounds of the spleen are less common than those of liver, but bleeding is more profuse in the spleen. Spleen may be injured by either by compression force or traction forces that is compressing on the spleen or by traction where that spleen is uh, pulled apart by forces. So compression forces produces mainly the lacerations then traction forces produces mainly the tear of the spleen from its pedicle. Spleen is ruptured usually in, in its concave surfaces mainly the upper surface where it is present it is usually ruptured and it is generally associated with injury to other organs and rib fractures. So, since spleen is usually covered on above the rib, ribs, so usually rib, rib fractures may also cause laceration of spleen. Laceration are usually transcapsular, that is capsules in, within the capsule and may occur at the hilar or convex surfaces. They are often multiple and may stimulate alphabetic figures like Y, H and L. So since the capsule is present, sometimes in small ruptures may coexistent as uh, combine and form a letter lacerations like H, L like lacerations may be formed on the spleen.
Depth from rupture of spleen is usually rapid due to profuse hemorrhage. So any injury to the spleen causes profuse hemorrhage and person usually die because of hemorrhagic shock. A relatively mild trauma or even the contraction of abdominal muscles may also predispose the spleen to rupture which is seen in diseased and enlarged spleen like in cause cases of infectious mononucleosis, malaria, kalaza, leukemia. In this all condition there is splenomegaly. So since spleen gets enlarged, it whenever even the smallest contraction of abdominal muscles may also cause spleen to rupture and person may die because of that. Now I'm coming to liver injuries. Liver is the second most frequently damaged abdominal organ in blunt trauma. Most injuries occur on the convex surface of the liver. The liver is commonly ruptured by motor accidents, blows, kick, or by sudden contraction of abdominal muscles. So since liver is very larger organs and it is situated very easily. So any, uh, whenever there is person tries to kick or uh, punch or painting injuries are commonly seen in the liver injuries when there is a painting injuries are commonly present compared to spleen. Blunt force to the abdomen may produce different types of lacerations. One is first is the transcapsular lacerations where both capsule and parenchyma are torn and laceration is present over the convex surface of the liver. So transcapsular is where that capsule has well as the parenchyma is completely torn. It may produce rapid death from hemorrhage and shock. Subcapsular lacerations where capsule is intact. So outer capsule is intact but injury is present within the capsule or interparenchyma injury and present over the convex surface of the liver. On the outer surface it is present. It may rupture a few days after the injury and cause fetal delayed interpenetral hemorrhage. So Presently, when the impact is present, there may be some contusions, but after a few days, it may the contusion may rupture the liver, leading to interpreted hemorrhage and person may die because of that. This is an image of liver laceration. As you can see, the capsule and parenchyma is ruptured. This is transcapsular injury laceration. Then non-communicating or central laceration are seen in substance of the liver. Within the substance of the liver, the lacerations are present. They are not communicating with the outside. They are present in the central part of the liver. Then coronal lacerations are seen over the superior surface of the liver due to distortion. So on the convex, other than the convex surface, on the upper part, that is superior part of laceration, that is coronal lacerations. Laceration of inferior surface are due to distortion. Again, in the, when there is a distortion, either the superior part, which is called coronal lacerations, or on the inferior part of the laceration, laceration part of the liver may be lacerated. Then countercoup laceration, that is Countercoup that is opposite to the impact lacerations involve the posterior surface that is the back side of the liver, liver of the right lobe at the point where it rests against the vertebral column. So we, the, this type of lacerations occurs when the liver which is which rests on the which rests on the the spine they pushed the because of the uh, impact of the front lobe the liver is pushed against the vertebral column and the it get laceration on the behind the liver that is called as contracoup lacerations. The right lobe is five times more commonly affected than the left lobe. Convex surface and inferior border are commonly involved in the lacerations. Mild degree of external violence may rupture the liver if it is in these conditions like in fatty changes, abscess formations, malaria or biliaresis where the liver is usually enlarged even the mild uh, violence can also cause lacerations. Liver is more susceptible than the spleen to patenting injuries since it is larger organ compared to spleen. Now coming to injuries to the gallbladder, the injuries to gallbladder and extrahepatic bile ducts are very rare and are associated with injuries to the other abdominal viscera. So associated with abdominal viscera can also cause injury to the gallbladder. The gallbladder is when gallbladder is distended with stones may rupture spontaneously. Extraction of bile into peritoneal cavity, peritoneal sac may cause peritoneal irritation and infection. Injuries to pancreas. Wounds of pancreas are very rare. The pancreas may be injured by compression forces, usually where it overlaps the second lumbar vertebra. So similar to countercoup laceration of liver. So when if the pancreas are pressed against the lumbar vertebra, it may because of compression, it may be injured or lacerated. Now coming to injury to the kidneys. Injury to the kidneys are uncommon as they are situated in the relatively well protected part of the body. So kidneys are usually well protected because of the presence of ribs in the anterior region and posterior there is presence of 
the spine cord organ. So it is usually protected by those organs. So it is injuries are very uncommon. But contusions and lacerations are usually results from blunt force applied directly to the posterior or lateral aspect of the kidneys. So injuries to the posterior lateral aspect of kidneys can cause the injury to the kidney, can cause contusion and laceration to kidney, such as blows to the loins or in motor vehicle accidents or fall from the height. This type of injuries can cause injury to kidneys also. This is the image of contused as well as lacerated kidney. So a capsule is ruptured completely. Kidney is very encapsulated and filled with blood and urine due to which severe blow initiate force which act according to Pascal's law. So Pascal's law is applicable to kidneys as well as bladder. So which states that force exerted upon any part of enclosed fluids transmit equally in all directions. So for example, if there is an enclosed uh, organ like a kidney, so when there is impact, for example, if there is an impact in one region, the force which the impact is there, it, it is get equally distributed because of presence of fluid that is that is stated by Pascal's law. So because of equal distribution, so at that point of impact, other than point of impact, the force is equally distributed and it may cause rupture or bursting of kidneys. Laceration of kidneys may be transcapsular, subcapsular, or translinear. Transcapsular where Capsule has all well as parenchyma is ruptured. Subcapsular where capsule is intact, only parenchyma of the kidney is ruptured. Translinear where in between the kidney, in center of the center part of the kidney is ruptured, which may extend from the capsule to the renal pelvis. They may also cause the hemorrhage into the periphery, perinephric fat and form a large peritoneal hematoma. Pentatic wounds of the kidneys are produced by bullets or by pointed weapons, usually through the loin with electroparietal hemorrhages are compl um, complication of that. The complications may be sepsis and extravagation of urine into surrounding tissue with development of urinary fistula may also cause, may be seen in because of kidney lacerations or kidney pentating wounds. Coming to injury to the adrenals, so adrenal glands may be injured by the same force which damages the kidney since it is situated on the superior part of the kidney. So usually it is well protected and, but any injury which can cause injury to the kidney can also cause injury to the adrenals. So hemorrhage that is adrenal apoplexy may be rarely seen associated with other injuries. And coming to injury to the bladder. So bladder may be resulted from the fall, kick or blow on the abdomen. So any of the blunt abdomen injuries can cause injury to the bladder. Rupture of the bladder are because of two reasons. One is extra peritoneal. It occurs when the bladder is empty. So if the bladder is empty, and if bladder is full, two types of ruptures may occur. So if the bladder is empty, it causes extra peritoneal hemorrhage ruptures where or when the bladder is empty or it contains only little urine and lies within the pelvis. So since the bladder is empty, it is usually protected by the pelvis. So it usually associated with pelvic fractures. So whenever there is pelvic fracture is present, it may associate with bladder rupture, mainly extra peritoneal rupture. The urine may extravagate upwards to the level of the kidneys or downwards along the spermatic cord into the scrotum, which may produce a reticent death. Then intraperitoneal rupture of bladder occurs when the bladder is full of urine. Any blood trauma to the wall of abdominal wall can compress the bladder against the sacrum, resulting in rupture due to increased pressure with the urine entering the abdominal cavity. So again, in this condition, if the, when the you, bladder is full of urine, Pascal's law is applicable here also. So any blunt abdomen compressed in the bladder with the injury, the force is equally transmitted, resulting in rupture and resulting in the urine get, uh, getting dispersed into the abdominal cavity. Stab wounds of the lower abdomen may also penetrate the bladder and cause rapid death from hemorrhage. Then male urethra may be ruptured usually under the pelvic arch by kick in the perineum fall on the projecting subtest or fracture the pubic bone or foreign body. So any of the three regions, may, erythra may be also ruptured. Forcible catheterization, cystoscopy, especially in presence of some obstruction like stone can cause rupture of urethra from within. Now coming to injuries to reported to organs. First is female genital organs. So contusions and lacerations of vulva and vagina may be due to kicks during assault or fall on projecting substances. Wounds of vulva caused by blunt weapons may resemble incised wounds because the skin is lax. Lacerated wounds of vulva may bleed profusely since skin is lax and it may not contact easily. Non-gravid uterus is usually not injured 
because it is well protected below the behind the pelvis but gravid uterus that is pregnant uterus may be ruptured by blow or kick on the abdominal wall by instrumental criminal abortion or by an obstructed labor the acetum may be get separated from uterus leading to death of the fetus major genital organs the penis may be injured by a squeeze or crush and the engorged erector penis may get completely avulsed from the pubis by forceful pull accidental injuries are very rare but penis may be injured or amputated in case of revenge penis strangulation may occur by application of constricting apparatus around the penis compression or crushing crushing of testes may be caused sudden death from the cardiac inhibition so usually when since this part of the testes are innervated by vagus now crushing of those may cause a reflex vagal uh, inhibition leading to stoppage of heart coming to complications of abdominal injuries com commonest complication is the hemorrhage so in that mainly the laceration of liver produces slow but considerable bleeding over a period of time leading to death laceration of spleen is the next common it produced by rapid and profuse hemorrhage leading to hypertension so laceration of liver produces slow hemorrhage laceration of spleen produces rapid and profuse hemorrhage next uh, complication is peritonitis which is more common rupture of large intestine than with the rupture of small intestine since there is a presence of pathogenic organism in the colon so rupture of large intestine because can release the pathogenic organisms which are present in the colon into the abdominal cavity leading to peritonitis chemical peritonitis is caused by leakage of gastric contents which has uh, that you can see acids gastric acids and also the pancreatic juice which has uh, enzymes which can cause the damage to the ulcers or damage to the surrounding tissues leading to chemical peritonitis next complication is multiple contusions of intestine may produce paratic ileus so ilia ileatic functions the the functions of the small intestine may be paralyzed because of multiple contusions and lacerations there may be septic septicemia that is or generalized infection of the body because of infections caused by the contusion and lacerations there may be vagal inhibition that is if there is sudden rupture of bladder or sudden evacuation of abdominal cavity may occur all lead to stimulation of vagus nerve leading to stoppage of heart death may also result from complications when when the above injuries are not treated properly when also there is a death may occur these are my references thank you